back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, also known as Certified Winner, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be swapping my regular skincare with a lengthy 10-step Korean skincare routine for the next 31 days. So with the glass skin trend coming from our friends overseas and me having all the time in the world now that I'm stuck at home, I decided to get over my long-held intimidation of this daunting skincare routine and give it a try. So I've always been curious about this trendy 10-step Korean skincare routine, but I've never actually had the guts to try it due to the multitude of steps and products that it requires. Over the past month or so, I've been trying to help my skin out with some derma rolling, and when I was doing my research for derma rolling, I found that doing a lot of skincare behind the scenes on top of derma rolling really helps with the effects and the benefits. So I figured I would just go all out and do the full 10 step routine on top of derma rolling to see if I actually got any noticeable benefits. Originally, I wanted to do this entire routine using only Korean skincare products considering it's supposed to be a 10 step Korean skincare routine. But with everything going on in the world right now, having something shipped across the world and to my doorstep is a little tricky. So I had a bit of an idea and I thought it would be a lot more fun and a lot more accessible to you guys, my viewers, if I just did all of this routine but using Western products. So products that you can easily find in North America considering majority of my viewership is in North America. Therefore, the majority of products that I'm going to be using in this video are Western products such as e.l.f., Nivea, Aveeno, The Body Shop. So being able to find these products should be a lot easier for you as well. So this new routine of mine does come with a plethora of lotions and potions, but after doing a little bit of research, I think I know what order everything goes in. So in the description box below, there's going to be a link that links you guys to the site where I got majority of my information in terms of steps. So what order, what comes in what, and why we do each step in the routine. In the description box, there's also going to be the entire list of all the products that I've used as well as links to where you guys can get them. So from the looks of all of the products I have, it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of cleansing, a lot of toning, a lot of exfoliating, a lot of essences and serums, which up until now I genuinely thought were synonymous, and lots and lots and lots of moisturizing. So with all of that explained, I think it is time to get into this routine. So step one of this 10 step process is the makeup remover slash oil cleanser. So oil cleansers are the base of the Korean skincare routine and the first step in the double cleanse. It breaks down oil-based debris such as makeup and sunscreen and draws out oil-based impurities such as sebum, SPF, and pollution. So in this routine, I'm using Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil. It's a rose hip fragrance and it contains grapeseed, jojoba oil, and rosenip oils as well as vitamin C. I'm going to be using this in the morning and the night by gently massaging it into dry skin and then adding lukewarm water to emulsify and then rinse. So the next product I am using is a water-based cleanser by Garnier Skin Active. It's called Water Rose Micellar Water. So water-based cleansers are meant to dissolve water-based impurities such as dirt and sweat that your oil cleanser just didn't pick up. Just like the oil cleanser, I'm using this one in the morning and night. I'm just thoroughly soaking a cotton pad and putting it all over my skin. Now this one specifically says no rinse, so I am not going to rinse it out. And I'm just going to go right into the next step. So in terms of exfoliation, because this is actually my nighttime routine and not my morning routine, I'm going to be using a chemical exfoliator to help clean my pores instead of a physical one, which I only use in the mornings. So I'm using L'Oreal Paris' Revital Lift Bright and Reveal Brightening Peel Pads. According to my research, regular exfoliation can help other skincare products absorb and work more efficiently. And basically what it does is it cleans debris from pores and removes dead skin cells. Now chemical exfoliators can sometimes make your skin really sensitive to the sun, which is why I'm only using this one at night. So toning for me is another one of those steps in the routine that requires two separate products, one for the morning and one for the evening. And for my nighttime routine, I'm going to be using Nivea's Almond Oil Gentle Toner. Now, if you think of your skin like a sponge, it's more difficult to rehydrate it when it's all dried up and hardened compared to when it's already slightly damp, which is why toners are the ultimate prep product 
in terms of removing any leftover residue from your cleansers while also repairing your skin's natural barriers to effectively absorb all of the moisturizers and serums that you're about to put on it. To use it, I'm just going to soak a cotton pad and swipe it all across my face. Toners are another step that do not require any rinsing, so I'm not going to rinse at all and just go on to putting the serums directly on my face. So the first serum I'm going to be using is Clarins Pore Control Pore Minimizing Serum. It's supposed to smooth your skin texture and leave you with a healthy radiance. I'm just going to do a single pump onto my fingertips and I'm just going to dab it around my T-zone where I find my pores are the largest and just kind of smooth it outward towards the rest of my face starting from the middle. I'm also going to be doing a lot of tapping and patting to help everything absorb into the skin. Next, I'm using my Anti-Redness Serum, which is supposed to be a Magnolia Jasmine and Lily Healing Emulsion from Aromacology. So I'm just gonna concentrate this one where I often see a lot of redness, which is just around my nose and my mouth area, doing the exact same thing where I kind of pat everything in to help it absorb quickly. The next treatment is going to be a vitamin E serum. So this one is the VE Effector Power Tens Formula by It's Skin. So I'm just going to drop this all over my face and then kind of spread it all over and pat it in once again. Next is my vitamin C serum. It's pretty much the exact same situation. I'm just putting a little bit on my hands and then spreading it all over my face and neck. So since the next step in this 10 step routine is actually a sheet mask, I figured it would be a little overboard to be doing a sheet mask every single day. So instead I'm opting for this hydrogel eye patch every single night and saving the sheet masks for Saturdays when I decide to derma roll. So essentially here I am putting the eye mask on the complete wrong way and switching it to the other eye hoping that I got it right but I still wasn't completely sure, so I turned to Google to see if I was actually doing it right. Turns out, my second attempt was in fact right. So now I'm just gonna put it on the other eye. And here I am pushing it back up because for some reason it kept falling down my face. So I spent the next 15 minutes standing here and holding my finger to my face to keep the single eye patch from falling down. For some reason, it only fell down on one side of my face and not the other. After taking off the eye mask, I just gently pat in all of the formula to make sure it was fully saturated into my skin and absorbed. And next came some night cream. For my night cream, I am just using ELF's Nourishing Night Cream. It came in a travel set that I bought a little while ago and just never used, so I figured this would be the best time to use it. I'm just applying this all over to my face the same way I would a regular moisturizer. Next comes my Illuminating Eye Cream. This is also by ELF and it came from the same travel package. I think the travel pack was the ultimate hydrating kit. So both of these are supposed to be super hydrating, which I guess is really nice for thin skin, like under your eyes. Now the very last step in this super long routine is my Water Flower Fluid, which is basically an oil-free moisturizer that contains a hydrating combination of fresh lilies and rose water to soothe and refresh dull skin. It contains vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin B5. However, it does not contain SPF because obviously I'm going to be sleeping and I don't need sun protection, but in my morning routine, I do use a moisturizer that has SPF in it. Now that I'm all done, it is finally bedtime, 30 minutes later. So just a quick day two update for my, is it day two? No, this is like day three. So just a quick day three update for my skincare routine. Um, I did derma roll today, so my face is a little redder. Um, so instead of doing the entire routine, I basically skipped majority of the steps besides cleansing and exfoliating and toning because I needed to derma roll my skin so I couldn't put all of the lotions and potions and treatments on. Um, I derma rolled and then I just put a sheet mask on directly after. So all of these serums and treatments did not happen this morning. But overall, I think my skin is starting to look better. Like, it's only been three days, but I can already feel how moist my skin is. Sorry to use those words for people that don't like it, but I can already feel how hydrated my skin feels. It's definitely looking shiny and 
rather oily all the time but I don't know if that's just like looking oily or if I'm slowly achieving like that glass skin kind of look so we'll see from there but so far texture has been more or less the same from what I understand like especially near the edges here but in the middle of my face I've been trying my best not to touch it so I don't actually know what the texture is but the texture definitely looks improved I think this is day six. My skin is no longer super duper oily or like intensely hydrated. And I think my skin is just kind of going through this roller coaster of trying to figure out what to do with all of this extra stuff that I'm putting on my face. Because for all of the days up until basically today, I've been waking up super oily, like literally grease monster. And today is the first day where I'm not waking up like this. I think my skin is finally starting to realize that it doesn't have to produce all of this extra oil to keep my skin hydrated and from drying out because it's getting all of this extra stuff from external sources. So hopefully that continues, but it's definitely an interesting roller coaster because I would say for the first like two or three days, my skin was just glowing. It was really nice and really smooth. And then from day three to day like six, it was really, really oily, and now on like day six slash seven, it's definitely kind of mellowing out. So my skin's not exactly glowing anymore, but it's also not a grease monster. It's just kind of normal. And this is my skin bright and early, right when I wake up. It's I haven't done my morning routine yet. I haven't done anything. I literally just kind of woke up grab my camera and now I'm filming for you guys. So yeah, that's kind of how my first week of this skincare routine went. So it is now the end of the day of day 14. I have not done my night routine yet, but it has officially been two weeks since I started this 10 step Korean skincare routine. So during the second week, sometime in the middle, I started to really not like doing the oil cleanser. And it's mainly because I thought it was a little useless. I know it's supposed to cleanse out all of like the oil-based impurities in your skin, but a lot of the time what I saw online was that people were using it as a makeup remover before they did their foam slash water cleanser. And because we're in quarantine, I'm not wearing any makeup. I also just realized I have this on my head and a lot of you might not know what it is. I just have a hair mask in, so I'm just letting it sit with this on top, but that's just a side note. Anyways, like I was saying, it's quarantine, so I'm not wearing any makeup. Up, so I feel like the need for an oil cleanser is kind of diminished and on top of that I really like cleansing my face in the shower I'm just one of those people that just likes to do everything while I'm in the shower like in the morning I'll even brush my teeth in the shower kind of thing and to have all of these steps where none of which I can actually do in the shower because they come in a very specific order and the oil cleanser which is the first step requires a dry face so none of these steps I can realistically do in the shower, which is a little annoying because then I have to do like a full body shower, like a hair shower, all of that stuff, and then step out of the shower and then wash my face, which seems a little counterintuitive. But what I have noticed is with all of this moisturizing and serum using and vitamin adding to my face, my eyebrows have been growing a lot faster. I swear it's like fertilizer for your eyebrows. So given I don't already have thick eyebrows to begin with, like the hairs themselves are very fine, but as you can see, I'm definitely growing out a little bit and it's only been like two or three days since the last time I plucked. No, that's an exaggeration. It's been like five or six days. So like almost a week since the last time I plucked my eyebrows, but usually I can go like, almost a month without getting my eyebrows done, but using this routine, I would have to get it done on like a semi-weekly basis for it to not look a little wild. I think that's all the updates I have for week two. Oh, yes. So me waking up with really oily skin or me having really oily skin is kind of a hit or miss at this point. And I don't know what causes it or what reduces the amount of oil that I'm producing on my face but sometimes by the end of the day, I am like an oil monster. Or like in the morning when I wake up, like it looks like I just dipped my face in grease. Like it is so, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. It is so oily and so greasy that it looks like there's actually like a layer on my skin. But then other times I'll wake up and like I'm perfectly fine. Like I'm not dry and I'm not greasy. And I'm not like dewy either, I'm just like neutral when it comes to my skin, I guess. But it's really weird. So I'm gonna try to figure out why sometimes my skin gets super oily and why sometimes it doesn't. And pray that it's not just completely random. 
So I think that actually brings me to the end of my week two update. My skin is looking not the best actually. Like I still get a lot of breakouts in and around my jaw for some reason, which I didn't have before I started this skincare routine. Um, and I got a couple of breakouts like near the beginning of the week and they're just kind of slowly going away. But those breakouts had nothing to do with my skincare routine. I was just getting my period and that's just what happens. So yeah. All right, for the final time, I think that is the final update I have. And I will probably be updating you guys either sometime mid week three or at the end of week three. So this is week three of doing a 10 step Korean skincare routine. Sorry. Um, and you know what? I think the texture of my skin is definitely improving a lot. I wouldn't say there's any difference with breakouts, but then again, I usually don't get a lot of acne unless it's right before I'm going to get my period. I know last week I was complaining about the oil cleanser and how I found it really unnecessary, but for the last week, so all of week three, we've basically been going through kind of a heat wave and that means a lot of sunscreen just to sit out in my backyard and a lot of sweating and a lot of oil and that is when the oil cleanser actually comes clutch like i thought i didn't need it but then when you look at yourself in the mirror and you see like the sunscreen and like the sweat and the oils just built up on your face that oil cleanser looks like a godsend because you know that it's going to snatch all of those oils on your face all of those disgusting oil-based impurities and just like wash down the sink so i take back what i say about the oil cleansers but i do not take back what i say about this routine being a little inconvenient just because of the length and the fact that i can't just do it in the shower besides that not a lot has changed i've just become really good at doing this routine over and over and over i'm basically a professional now it still takes me 30 minutes, but there's really nothing I can do about that because the face mask alone takes like 15 minutes, but the rest of it also takes another 15 minutes. Like I think that's about as fast as it can go. I feel like not much is going to change between now and next week when I finish this challenge. I will be sure to keep you guys updated if anything happens. And if not, you'll just see me on week four. So it is the final week of me doing my skincare routine. And honestly, I look super glowy like this is without any makeup and it's very interesting to see the difference because I will start the morning and I will probably look really dull and really tired and literally the definition of like I just woke up and after doing all of the cleansing steps I'm suddenly like a brand new person I can see it in the mirror that I look refreshed especially the steps that require me to actually like wet my face and put my face in the sink which notably are the most annoying steps they're the steps that I least want to do because I hate how much water gets everywhere and I don't like that I wet my face when I'm not in the shower and all of that stuff but Complaints aside, after I do the oil cleanser, I can physically see that like my face looks refreshed. And then again, after I use the scrub exfoliator, literally like after I dry my face, I feel like I look like a brand new person. Like I look ready for the day. So as you can see, I have a bit of a blemish here, but that is fully my fault. I feel like I've had it for a really long time and I only recently noticed it. So I've literally been picking at it all week and I finally got it out. And before it didn't look really noticeable and now it's like clearly a welt. I have a really bad habit of doing that where I'll see like the smallest blemish and I will literally pick at it until my face is like swollen and red and there's like a giant gouge in my face and I'm like, oh, much better. <laughs> but yeah, so overall, I think that my skin has definitely improved a lot. Like look at this glow this makeupless glow like do you see that but something i have noticed is that when i'm filming i still put on like a full face of makeup and the glow will actually come through the makeup so there's no more matte looks for me like i can't do a matte look anymore because even when i try the shine still comes through so the glow is a little too strong like even you guys can see right now like i've got a huge like glowing patch right in the middle of my forehead and i don't like that look like from the side it looks great because like it highlights the cheekbone the brow bone the tip of the nose like the chin like that's great but the second i do like a full-on shot i can see 
like this massive like highlight spot like right in the middle of my forehead and i'm not a fan of that so when i film i try to put on like a full face of makeup so it mattifies everything and with this new skincare routine like matte does not exist it will literally come through the makeup and yeah so i guess i just need to find a more full coverage foundation if i'm going to continue doing this routine Anywho, those are my thoughts for like the last week. So let's cut to me in my studio, pretty much wrapping up my entire experience. All right, well, we are now back in my studio and I'm just going to give you guys a few final thoughts on how I think this entire 31 day experience was for me following a 10 step Korean skincare routine. So personally for me, for the first maybe two weeks, I felt like doing the routine was actually rather therapeutic. And because I have all the time in the world, I felt like it was a really good way to fill time in my day, I guess but I can definitely see how this routine would not work out for those who just live a busy lifestyle or honestly just a normal lifestyle where you don't have all the time in the world to just be doing your skincare routine, especially in the morning. But after the two weeks, it definitely started getting redundant and by the last week, I really just didn't want to do it anymore or at least not include all of the steps that were in it. I think my skin definitely has improved a lot from the beginning where I had a lot of texture, especially in and around my forehead. And now it's just very, very smooth. Like if I feel my skin, everything's very smooth, especially when I put on makeup. That's when I can tell the biggest difference because A, things aren't really caking and B, even after I put on makeup, it's not a very mattifying effect. Like the glowiness of my natural skin is still coming through a lot, which I really, really like. The only issue is because of the products that I was using, I think it's causing my skin to create excess moisture, if that even makes sense. So by like day literally all the oils on my skin will like seep through my makeup and I look super oily like borderline wet so for that reason I would probably switch out a couple of the products and essences that I'm putting on my face and kind of gear them towards oil control because I learned kind of late on that not everything you're putting on your face has to go on your entire face a lot of things can be very spot specific so if I want to I can get an oil control I don't know, serum or whatever, and literally just put it in my T-zone and then use hydrating things on my cheeks, which is where I tend to get dry. But I think we're getting off topic, like to go back to the original question of whether or not my skin looks better after all of this, the answer is yes. It definitely looks a lot better and the texture is gone. I would say some of the hyperpigmentation and the coloring on my skin has not gone away and those things are still very much so there, but I feel like things like that sometimes take a lot more time and effort, especially because as a lady, I still have hormones. So every time like my period rolls around or something, I will get a couple of breakouts and I am really, really bad at ignoring my breakouts. I will always, always, always go out of my way to extract them, which sometimes leaves me with dark spots. So would I keep doing this routine after the video? And I think my answer is kind of. So there's only two products that I've actually run out of doing this entire routine. And it's because these products are specifically geared, I guess, towards single months. So my nighttime exfoliator, like the glycolic um, exfoliating pad, those ones only come in 30 pieces in the little container. So it's literally meant for one month. And same with the eye masks, they come with 60 pieces. So 30 uses, I guess, because I have two eyes. So both of those things were meant to be used up within a month, which I did manage to do. And yes, it is fully supposed to be used up within the month because on cosmetics, they'll usually have that label with a little open jar symbol with a number on it. And it says 2M. So that means both of those things are supposed to be used up within a minimum of two months. So throughout the course of doing this 10 step routine, I've also stumbled upon a lot of other bloggers and vlogs, I guess, that have said that they found this really, really lengthy routine to just be too much for their skin and that they felt like their skin honestly couldn't breathe. So they've definitely shortened it down too. So everyone's skincare routine should definitely be tailored to yourself. So if you want to try this routine, feel free. Absolutely. All the links are in the description box below but I would probably be a little more nitpicky with what you choose to put on your skin. And just to go into that link that I have down below that gives you all of the steps, but not particularly all of the products. That way you can kind of tailor it more to your skin. 
Anyways, I think that brings me to the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next. I release videos every single Wednesday, so I'll see you guys then. Bye!